Good afternoon. It's Heather with another installment of Already Reviews. I'm, I'm, I'm like full of piss and vinegar today. I'm cranky. I'm just going to let you know ahead of time. I don't know what is wrong. I, I don't know what's wrong. I am just, I'm foul. I'm just in a foul mood. I decided to do a review on a whole bunch of art supplies that I get to use for the very first time all at once from Hobby Lobby. And I'm some of, I'm pissed. So this is in the middle of all the other reviews I was doing on my trip to Nashville with my daughter. Because we had such a good time. I really did cry my eyes out the other night when I was going through the photos. My daughter does not let me take pictures. Like, she's not, like, one to take. I'm like, oh. we took pictures. She, we had such a great time. Like, we took pictures. Like, 600 pictures. I was shocked. And she was smiling. So I was like, I made a book. I went to Walmart.com, and I, I made a photo book. I spent all Thursday editing photos, like cropping. My arm was numb from using the mouse. I had to take a break to put the circulation back in my arm because I couldn't wait to make this book for her. I'm so excited. I took a break from the reviews because there's this picture I have of my daughter. Now, I'll tell you quickly. I don't know which one of you guys saw the sewing machine review, the, the shit show that everyone laughs about. It's probably the funniest fucking review ever. I had made her prom dress with the new sewing machine. And I was saying how like she wasn't shopping for prom dresses and I, I like had to order a bunch. Like, okay. My daughter's been through some shit. And I'm gonna hold it together. She lost her best friend last year, like two weeks before the prom. Her best friend took her own life. My daughter is not over this, nor should she be. But she is a trooper gave a eulogy. The kid does not speak in public and gave a eulogy. So we went to the Cheekwood Botanical Gardens and they had this wishing well with these like turtle statues and stuff. It was really pretty. And I, I said, let's go make wishes. And she stood there for a while thinking like you could tell she was contemplating her wish. And I wasn't even going to interrupt her, but I snapped a picture of it. I mean, she's just... She's really thinking about it. And I'm, I just love this photo. So I decided that I'm so cheesy about this trip and this bonding we did that I want to paint a picture of it. And I'm going to do watercolor because I can make more like an impression. I haven't done watercolor since college. And the very first watercolor I actually, the very first watercolor I ever did was it was like an accidental success, like beginner's luck. I did a couple more that, that semester and then 30 years later, I haven't touched watercolor since. But I bought a kit a while back at Hobby Lobby. I don't even remember buying it, but I just took the wrapper off of it. It is Master's Touch. It's a 20-piece watercolor paint set, palette, three brushes, a sketch pencil, eraser, sharpener, and a wooden carry case. So it's pretty cute. I can't turn it over right now because there's water in it. But it's a nice wooden box. And when you open it, I've got my paints in here. It has three, six, it's like 12 paints. I was a little surprised to see white. I always learned that there was no white in watercolor. You just left paint white. But. And then I also have a package. I didn't, the packaging's over here. Master's Touch, I think. The Master's Touch is the paint. Fine Touch. Okay, so Fine Touch watercolor brushes that I just opened and they look like shit. I haven't even used them. Look at the tips of these. The fucking bristles are coming out. They're bent. I'm like, they didn't, look at this tip. That fine touch. There's like straight hairs coming out of these things. This is one after I got it wet. It looks like I smashed it against the paper. I'm not happy with these brushes. Uh, they were 10 bucks for, which is, I know, that's not, buy them individually. I do buy them individually when they go on sale and I can afford to. 
but this is a step up from some of the crap that's out there. And I got them when they were on sale. Five bucks. So you get what you pay for. Uh, I, I don't recommend them. I'm, I'm really pissed. You can't even... There's something, like, on them. This is fresh out of the package. You see that shit that just flew out of it? And look, this hair's coming out. Straight hairs. Now, I bought... They're all like that, too. Like, I wet them and washed them, and they're still crunchy. Fresh out of the package. So, I, I, I'm not going to recommend these Hobby Lobby Fine Touch 12-piece brush set. And this, the reason I'm pissed is because it's, it's ruining everything. And the paint's not that good. I don't even know if it's the paint. I got good paper. I know you have to have watercolor paper. I studied it in college. Hold on. I was under the impression that this is good watercolor paint. Paper. Like it's even got like that, that fancy edging on it and shit. It's heavy duty. It is... 640 gram paper. If I can fucking read this. 300 pounds. So 300 pound paper, 640 grams. It was $20 a sheet. I didn't pay that. It was on clearance. But they charged $20 a sheet for, for one piece. So to me, I was like, okay, that's not your, your $5, $6 piece of shit. Watercolor paper. I did not soak this paper. I did not soak this paper. I, the red was an accident. I wanted to cry. I just saw it all over again. This is... The paints are not blending. When I'm adding the water, like, I'm starting out light and going darker. Like, I, I remember that much. It won't blend. Let me show... I'm going to show you because when the paper takes the paint, that's it. So I'm not sure if it's just that bad of paper or if the paints are no good either. And you get to see how shitty these brushes are. I'm really pissed. I'm glad I had the packaging because I think I'm, I'm taking all of it back. Oh, and this is their easel. So TJ got me this easel because I bought like a little tiny easel and then like built on it with all the extra wooden shit. He bought me a travel easel that comes in like a carry bag. It's also from Hobby Lobby. So this is the easel. It's adjustable. Uh, I followed the instructions. You can like change the height and stuff on it. It's aluminum, so it's very, very lightweight. I don't even think that it weighs a pound. It's okay. The, the, the easel itself is all right. I don't want to sit down and paint. I'm not in, in like third grade art class. I want to stand up and paint. I can't. Because as much as this easel is adjustable, it is adjustable if you're short. This is as high as it goes. That is as high as it goes. Let me show you when I stand up. Oh, fuck. I do not want to paint down here. I want to paint up here. Now, that doesn't make a super huge difference. I don't want to paint down here. I want to paint up here. I can't raise this any more than it already is because it won't go any higher than this. This is, this is like the top. I can bring it down. If I bring it all the way down, you can loosen these. This comes off. It's a pain in the ass, but it com this comes off. It's just two fucking screws and a Velcro strip in the back. So that comes off. It fits around. This thing is adjustable. So I can bring this all the way up. I can bring that up a little higher, but then there's nothing to attach this to. So I have to use these things. So these will only go up as high as this last screw hole here, which is there. And then I can put it on this, this one here. If I want to lower it, I can make it as low as I want, but I can't make it any higher than this. If I want it level, that's, uh, that's, as, that's as far as I can force it up. And then you just turn the screw in the back. And then you gotta, I don't know, you take this stupid Velcro thing. It's got like a strip. You take the strap. 
And the strap goes through like a metal box that's here, this little tiny metal box. Is so when you adjust this, I love the height of this now. This is a great height. Unfortunately, this goes through the middle. And the paper that I'm working with is small. I'm only doing like a, it's a, a 15 by 11 by 15. So I want this down. I, I can't, it doesn't matter anyway. So then I lock this in place, press the button. And then this will open so you can move it to grab your canvas. But I just have these papers, so it doesn't matter. And then once this goes through the middle, you take your strap. I don't know why. Maybe it just keeps the back leg out. Tie it around, and once you tie it around, you Velcro it in place. Uh, it's kind of weird. And then to close it, it's like, it's pretty easy. This just slides, you know, typical. So you can just lock it in place. The whole thing folds up. It fits in this little carry case. I want to say TJ spent 20 bucks on this. It's, it's just so fucking short. I'm not that tall. I know I'm tall. I'm like, well, I used to be 5'11". Now I'm like 5'10". If I can stand up straight enough, I'm 5'10 and a half. I'm losing, I'm losing my height. I'm getting older. So I'm not super tall. I don't want to paint down by my belly button. And it's not even keeping the, there we go. So I'm very disappointed in the paper. Um, and the, it's all from Hobby Lobby. I know we have an art store somewhere around here. But I gotta go to Syracuse for it. This is heavy paper. This reminds me of the stuff I used in school, but I gotta tell you, as soon as I put a little water on it to get it going, it was like. <laughs> I wanted to paint this picture of my daughter. Because I wanted to like mat it and give it to her and like tell her, I know you were thinking, you know, and just have something that she can reflect. It would be like really cool. I just fucked it all up and I saw it all over again. And I don't know if starting over again is even going to help because paint the... All right, let me... Sh I'll show you the paint. Duh, you know? I'm going to do a review. I might show it to you. Let me get a brush. I'm going to use a different one. So I'm going to wet this one. And then I'll show you. I'm just going to put a little water right here. Just a little. It doesn't even absorb it evenly. It absorbs it in the streak that I put the paint. So I'm going to take this little pail... I'm gonna put water in it. I just want it light. Look, and now I'm gonna water it down and, and spread it. It doesn't spread. There's no, there's no lightening it. I, it, there's like not really, you can still see the lines. Like, you know, I don't think you're supposed to see all that. I was just watching a video to give myself a refresher course on how to do this. And that, that bitch went, she put it on the paper. And when she added the water to the paper, she was able to like blend it and shit. I'm, I'm sure she's got good paints and good paper. But how are you selling this stuff? Look, this is supposed to like, and it's doing exactly what the girl in the video said not to do. She did say not to go back and forth. But if I went like this, it was supposed to pull the paint. It won't. Look, it's stuck. And it's still wet. That, that, that's not supposed to happen. So I don't even know what to do now. I'm, now I'm in a foul mood because I can't make my daughter a picture and I wanted to make one for her. So I, I don't recommend Hobby Lobby's watercolor paper. I don't recommend them. It's not a master's touch paint set by any means. It's not even a fucking intern's paper, a paint set. Uh, not even a print. I don't know. It's like, they look good. They're in nice metal tubes. I do like the aluminum tubes. I mean... Until I pulled all the seals off and I was like, oh, this looks good. I'm not sure if it's the paint or not or if it's the paper. Could be both. So I don't like this stuff and I'm, I'm very sad now. But I'm also cranky, so I, I could just be being an asshole. I mean, this stuff sucks. There's no doubt about it. But my delivery could probably be better. Whatever. I love Hobby Lobby. I'm not a big fan of them today. Questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. I'm taking all this shit back. 20 bucks. Uh, I think I kept the paperwork to show you. Yeah. Um, what's the fucking paper? 
I know it said 1999 for the yeah, 1999 for the Masters Touch 20 piece set of uh, jeans, and I got it for 10 because I only buy it when it's 50% off. And that was 17 dollars, 8.50 I paid. Don't buy it. If you do, get better brushes and get better paper. So if you have to go somewhere to get better paper and get better brushes when you're there, get better paint. Because this isn't going to do it. Questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. Subscribe, like, I would love it. I don't know, maybe it would put me in a better mood. What do you think? Should I sign it? Is it ready to be signed? I have to sign it in shit. I'm going to start over. Wish me luck. I want to I give it to her as a present. Have a great day!